This is the second video looking at the settings tab of Perfectit Style Sheet Editor. As a reminder, to get to the settings tab, click Edit Current Style, then click the settings tab. We covered the interface in the last video, so let's jump straight down to look at more of the settings for Perfectit's test that you can change in this tab. The test of numbers in sentences checks whether numbers are spelled out in full or appear as numerals. It doesn't look for every number in your document. It just looks within sentences and it skips numbers like measurements since those always appear in numerals. As you can see, in the settings tab, the controls for the test of numbers in sentences are split into three groups, 1 to 10, 11 to 20, and 21 to 100. Within each group, you can set the preference for whether numbers in sentences should be spelled out or appear as numerals. Just change each setting and then click Apply. Since some style guides work from 0 to 9 instead of 1 to 10, the options immediately below that allow you to set those preferences instead. For the test of Oxford or serial commas, Perfectit won't do any checking unless you set a preference. To set a preference, add it here. Perfectit will then scan the document for any locations that might not meet your preferred style and alert you to those. For example, if you prefer to include an Oxford comma, Perfectit will look for instances of the words AND or OR that are in a list without a preceding comma. This test does produce a lot of false positives, so you might not want to set a preference if those will slow you down. However, the idea is that it's a simple extra check to make sure documents conform to your style preferences. Beneath that are settings for personal titles. This allows you to control whether there should be a full stop or period after titles like Mr. or Mrs. Going down further, you can choose perfect its preferences for IZE and ISE endings. This preference applies to all other similar endings, such as organizing or organization. You can also enforce preferences for YZE and YSE endings. Just choose your preference and then click Apply. Below that is the test of style points. The test of style points actually consists of multiple tests. By default, these are all turned off. However, you can use this section of the settings tab to turn on whichever test should be enforced in your house style. Going through these briefly, abbreviation format allows you to choose whether abbreviation should have full stops between each letter. For example, BBC with or without the full stops. Currency symbols lets you choose whether or not currency symbols are followed by a non-breaking space. Decades lets you choose if years should have an apostrophe in between the numbers and the letter S. Decimal mark lets you choose between full stops or commas to indicate a decimal. Hyphens next to spaces helps you convert these to N or M dashes if these were intended. Then you can choose whether or not dates and measurements should have non-breaking spaces. Going down further, you can choose whether numbers followed by the word fold should have a hyphen before the suffix fold. The test of ordinals lets you choose if ordinals should be spelled out or appear in numerals. If you prefer numerals, it gives you the choice of using superscript for the ending, e.g. the th in fifth. Then you can choose if percentages should be expressed with a symbol or spelled out. And you can choose if they should have a non-breaking space. Quotes with punctuation allows you to choose where final punctuation should be with respect to quotation marks. The test of space around dashes is only for use when there is a single preference between N and M dashes. You can set a preference and it will find everything that doesn't conform with that. The test of thousand separators allows you to choose between commas, full stops and non-breaking spaces. Each of these settings may sound like it's just a small issue but the combination is very powerful. And with just a few minutes of work, you can build a style sheet that checks for all of these common errors and helps ensure that every one of your documents makes the best impression.